So Deontay Wilder unfortunately lost over the weekend. And there's been a lot of uh, people wanting to point the blame. And, you know, I've seen people be critical of Wilder and all these different forms I'm in. But I'm also hearing another person that everybody's blaming, and that's Malik Scott. Now, Malik Scott has been with Wilder since the second Fury fight. And everybody knows that he took over when Wilder got rid of Mark Breland. Because uh, Mark Breland threw the towel in against Tyson Fury. My bad. I said Tyson Fury 2. Tyson Fury 2 is when Mark Breland threw in the towel. Malik came on Tyson Fury 3. And Malik Scott, his style is, is totally different than Mark Breland's. And you've seen Wilder lose in Tyson Fury 3. And then, I mean, Tyson Fury. Tyson Wilder, when he fought Tyson Fury for the third time. And then he lost to Joseph Parker and to Zane. But in the middle of that, he did knock out. Uh, I forgot the name off the top of my head, but he did do a knockout, which was his last victory two years prior to fighting Joseph Parker. So, again, Wilder was inactive for the last several years. Now, again, some people are saying Malik is a horrible trainer and Wilder was cursed ever since he got with Malik. And I'm going to be honest. Wilder's my... I've seen Wilder's whole career. I remember uh, 78 interviewing him way before he became a world champion. So, you know, I've seen this whole evolution. Now, I will say this. I can't blame it all. I can't blame it all on Malik. Number one, he took a lot of punishment fighting Tyson Fury all three fights, especially fight number two and fight number three. Now, Mark Breland did throw in the towel on fight number two, which got him fired. But when I seen Water take a lot of punishment and in three, because Malik would free refuse to throw in the towel. Cause that was water instructions he just i don't know you don't go in the ring like that and really same thing with tyson fury y'all don't take that much punishment against each other then come out and be the same fighter so i mean you know water got a lot of miles on him now that's number one number two is his inactivity i don't know what was going on with the pbc but they had water very inactive at one one part i say what 2017 2018 is when all the focus was on Wilder. The PBC put everything behind Wilder. And then I don't know if the business got bad or what. But you see they moved off of Wilder. Started focusing more on Tank. Tank became the golden goose. And then you had you know people who built that platform. Like a Wilder. Or Leo Santa Cruz or Gary Russell. Just become completely inactive. And you can't take time like that off. When you're going up against some of the, the, the greatest fighters in the world. That and then Wilder is also 38, 39 years old. So father time is catching up. So you have miles on you from fighting. You're not really active, active like that. And then father time is creeping in. And I seen Zane say that Wilder didn't really have no power and all of that. Well, it looked like Wilder was just looking for the right hand because that was his equalizer. But, like I said, when you add in the three keys of what I said earlier, that makes a huge difference. So, I can't blame it all on Malik Scott. Now, one thing that most people disagree, I think Malik should have stopped that Tyson Fury, that third fight. But, he was instructed not to. And, the reason why I would have is because you, Water could have probably had several more quality fights in him. I think it was Robert Helaney, his last person he knocked out. But, he could have had... You know, several more years, but this is the politics of boxing. This is the politics of boxing that I was talking about. And, you know, Wilder's prime was really between 2017 and 2020, I say 2022. And, you know, you've seen a lot of people, they, they, they didn't want to fight him. They didn't want to fight him. You've seen politics come in between PBC and Matchroom and, you know, everybody ducked him. For the most part. The only person who really fought him was Luis King Kong Ortiz. And then you finally seen Tyson Fury step up and fight him. So I do feel bad for Wilder. But at the same time I don't. Because he squeezed everything he could out. Started boxing at 19 to take care of his daughter. 1920 was working at fast food places. And then he ended up become, uh, becoming an Olympic medalist. Which people completely forget about that. He was the last Olympic medalist that we had at the heavyweight division and then he turns pro he knocks out the majority of people 
and he becomes the WBC champion and defends his title 10 times. Deontay Wilder was the world champion for years and still is the longest reigning champion at the heavyweight division. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. I mean, again, we can't all blame it on one person. You know, again, were there things I disagree with what Malik did? Sure. But, you know, you can't you, you, you can't control father time and you can't control wear and tear. I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.